Different surroundings today, very different surroundings today. I am at the Picture House Central, uh, for my, just got out of my first screening at the London Film Festival. Um, over the course of the next few days, there's very, very quick fire reviews just because I've got to see a lot of movies during this festival. But this first one, Living in Two Worlds, is absolutely spectacular. It's a uh, sixth film from Japanese director Mipo O, oh, and it's about a coda, a child of, uh, a child of deaf adults, and it tracks the, the, it tracks the entire lifespan of a young boy called Dai. And it's such a beautiful meditation on humanity and on interpersonal relationships and on the beautiful bond between parents, specifically mother and son. It, it really gave me the full... It felt like a properly developed 25-year span of a young boy's life. I mean, the family dynamic, for instance, was absolutely wonderful between, between the mother and the child. The way, it, the way Dai went from realizing that the dynamic that he has in his family isn't traditionally normal, um, to then him grow, you know, as he got that teenage angst, it becoming resentment and anger towards his parents because it's tough being a kid. With, with deaf parents, you know, having to be their interpreter, not being able to turn to them because they haven't gone through the normal existence of someone who can hear. And the film really, really captures that. And when it hits, it hits hard. It's very heartbreaking, but happy sad because without giving away the ending, it does. Yeah, I cried a few times and it was quite early. <laughs> it's 8.50 a.m. showing. So I cried a few times, but it, it is heartbreaking, but in a kind of poetically beautiful way. Um, it's one of those movies that gives you hope for humanity, gives you hope for the world, because where I was worried that Jesus, a kid who's got deaf parents, is gonna end up being bullied, that wasn't the case. It was, it really showed the good of humanity and it gave me hope for humanity. Um, it's, I'm really thinking about whether this statement is true, but it is. This is one of the best coming of age stories I've ever seen. This is right up there with things like Stand By Me. It's, although it's very different to Stand By Me, I'm comparing it in the sense that it's a coming of age movie and it's, it's one of the best ever. Um, and I have a feeling like with so many things, it's not gonna get a big marketing push or get the attention that it oh so deserves because it is a wonderful film. Um, as I said, the relationship is tragic and the film, Really, Mipo O, oh, the director, really is a, mice, uh, a master at letting the powerful moments linger, knowing when to leave the camera on facial expressions, knowing when to shift attention to the next uh, relevant point. It's, it's a well-crafted, well-thought-out, beautiful piece of art. Um, and yeah, the last sort of note I've got, because I was making copious notes here, the last sort of note I've got is the, 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 the evolution of the central character Dai's emotions, how he goes from, you know, that childhood innocence of not being fully aware that his relationship isn't quote-unquote normal, to being embarrassed and resentful of his parents, to then almost embracing the fact that yes, he can hear and he can speak sign language and that just becomes part of his existence. Final score, damn, I, I can't really find fault in this movie. It's, it's as close to perfection as you get. No movie's per I say no movie's perfect. I don't know what's wrong with this film. Screw it, I'm, I'm doing it. For the first time in 2024, I'm giving Living in Two Worlds a 10 out of 10. This movie is absolute cinematic perfection and it's absolutely one you should seek out. Um, if you do manage to find it, it, I'm sure it'll be doing the rounds on the independent circuit over the course of the coming months. If you do manage to find it, let me know what you thought down in the comments below. If I've if my review's done enough for you to actually want to go out and find it, do let me know as well. As always, keep it right here on the Silver Screen Dudes, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye for now.